Good afternoon, YouTube. Digital Adele here, back with some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2 gameplay for you and commentary for you. Now, this one's a little different. This one, we're in search of a massive Easter egg in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. This Easter egg may not be readily apparent to everybody. The reason being, there are actually magic rocks here at the quarry. So if you've ever been to the quarry here, you may not see these things because you may not have triggered it. The mystery and what I need is your help to figure out the rest of the Easter egg. What is happening? This is gnawing at my brain like a parasite. You see that letter C there? Moving here. That's there for me. You see that paint blotch on the rock? That is there for me. These are the arrows that led me here. After watching the Tactical Brit, he made a video. And I saw this in the background of his video. And then Jack Frags made a video, and I saw some more stuff in the background of his video. And so I decided to investigate it myself. Now, these rocks, like I said, they're magic rocks because for different <clears throat> people, my friends, my good friend Walt, my friend Walt, from my Madden group. He dropped in with me, and he has a bunch of different letters that I don't have. So this is a screenshot of Walt's letters. As you can see, a G and a U in the background. An I. And then he also has an N recently that appeared for him. He also has that C. Now... There's more there. There's more. We go to this backside quarry. Enemy UAV active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to this backside part of the quarry. You see this blue line on the rock? You have the blue line here. Arrow pointing up. Yeah. And so we go up here on this ledge. There's a blue line there, and then there's an X there. We believe that this rock column and that rock column back there that we just looked at represent cities on the map of Almazra. And that something, when you go there, or if you die there, or if you do certain things, it triggers these markings on the rocks. Now, there's more to it. There's more. I'm not going just on this. Like I said, his letters are different than mine. He has more letters. He's the same ones plus more. But there's more. So if you look over here... So, I got my friend Hank to drop in with me. And we discovered the a red arrow with a string of repeating numbers. Is that 32451-7 appears in multiple places. We found more red X's. There's that number repeating again, but this time in black. There's another red X on that rock. Another red arrow below me. The po it points to that number there. That number repeats again right there on those rocks. Can't tell if that's an A14 or an A slash 4. Now at first we thought that A slash 4 may correspond to the grid for the map. But if you look at it, that A4 is out of bounds. So... And then you have the red circle with an X. 
the blue line with an X. The maps here are scaled 1 to 200 and 1 to 1000. 1 to 1000 is the one on the top. 1 to 200 is the one on the bottom. <clears throat> so these are definitely places in Almazra, we believe. There's also <clears throat> going to be writing on the edge of it. So yeah, so if you look on the outside edge of the whiteboard, there is writing on it. And it's like that blue line from the line on the right is extending into that picture of that larger scale picture at the top. <clears throat> what could it all mean? I went to Albagra Fortress in search of answers. I remembered... When I first started playing the new map, there were red arrows pointing into Albagra Fortress when I dropped here. And if you go to the middle, you'll find a whale. I need cash. At the bottom of this well, there's going to be a white X. Alright, so you see this white X? This white X is at the underground of Albagra Fortress, right beneath a well. So this well goes up to the top. You drop so with the new release for Warzone, the new update coming on December 14th, I figured I'd not hold this for myself. That this is something that the entire community can rally around. Um, content creators like Jack Frags, Tactical Brit, Westy, uh, Stone Mountain 64, um, any of the other content creators that are out there, there's too many for me to list. Um, those are just some of the ones that I enjoy watching because of the upbeat nature of their, their channels and the uh, positivity that t typically comes from them. And um, I think this is something even for the smaller content creators like myself that can uh, continue to help you know, provide meaningful and interesting content to the viewers and people that like video games and like mysteries um you know i wish i could have had some more help on this but you know everybody's busy everybody's got things to do uh, my friends definitely helped out on you know walt xavier hank they all helped out in trying to you know piece this together what does it all mean i don't know now what triggers the letters to appear on the rocks in the quarry i don't know me and my friends have similar records in terms of wins. Um, so it's not the amount of wins that you get. Um, I've tried dropping in Almazra City. That's where my friend uh, Walt typically drops. And that's how he feels. He got so many different letters than I do. However, I spent four hours dropping in Almazra City. In and around the city. I played solos. I played random squads. Um, and nothing I did triggered more letters in the query for me. So that's another part of this mystery. What triggers the letters? The other question, the map that I found in quarry with the circle, with the red X, the line with the X through it, the schematic, it's scaled 200, 1 to 200, like it's a zoomed in part. And then the picture above is 1 to 1,000. What? Where is that in Almazra? It has to be a spot in Almazra. What do the X's mean? The blue lines and then the X. Hank thinks that the X may be windows to a building. I think those stones do represent cities. What city does it look like? What do the numbers on the rocks mean that we found? I noticed in the background of one of Stone Mountain 64 videos, hit on... the in rocks around the quarry for him, there are blue lines on some of the rocks. 
What does that mean? Why does he have blue lines instead of red lines like we do? Does the X mean you died? Does the X mean you killed someone? What does the big blue paint splotch mean? I thought it could mean blueprint. Like, oh, if you solve this Easter egg, you get a blueprint. But then I found that grayish green blotch also in the quarry. There's a lot of unanswered questions. This leads me to another piece that may be important that we that's already been discovered, but we chalked it up as a error, and that is the operations folder in the query. All right, so this is where you drop if you want to check out that operations folder that was in Jack Frag's video. Uh, it's the first time I've seen it. He may not be the original discoverer of that folder being in Warzone. Um, but it is an actual mission in DMZ, as he states in the video. If you want more information on that, you know, you can look on YouTube. There's several content creators that have done videos on it. <coughs> However, that's not why I want to do it. I want to take a look at it for other reasons. So that is where the document is, and if you click on it, it says documents detailing Alcatala's various operations, incoming and outgoing shipments, employees, customers, and government contracts. Now, I have no idea what that is in reference to or what it means, or if it actually is just a dev error accidentally leaving this in Warzone when it should have just been in DMZ. But with all these things for the Easter egg in the quarry, I'm starting to find it hard to believe that it's not relevant to what is going on here. Now, if you have any ideas about this, leave me a comment um, on my YouTube video, or you can message me on Twitter at Digital Adele, or any of the other social media platforms under Digital Adele. Yeah, let's figure this thing out. I hope you have fun with this. I hope this gives you some content for your channel if you're a content creator. Uh, reach out to me anytime. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to continue to put out the best quality content that I can. If you have any thoughts, if you find out any new information, let me know. Um, I think it also could be related to strongholds and black sites because I haven't done any of the black sites yet. So that could be why I don't get some of the letters on the rocks. Um, but I'm going to try them now. You know, I'm going to try all the things, see if we can figure this thing out, because it's really gnawing at me. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you do, put a, leave a like. If not, a dislike. Subscribe for more. Um, big thank you to all of our subscribers. We're over 100. Um, at 105, 106. Couldn't be happier with the growth I've seen this year. Um, if you ever want to play, I play on random Wednesdays. We do random squads. Hit me up and we'll play. Um, you can, you know, subscribe to my Discord channel, Digital Adele, or you can, you know, just subscribe here on YouTube and message me on YouTube. I answer there also. Big shout out to Lackey, Jack Frags. Uh, without their content, I would have never even seen this in the background. So thank you guys for all the great work you've done. Paved the road for me to even want to even attempt to make a channel in the first place. Take care. Stay safe. GG's.